guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you before heading into a court, we did some functional warm up, five exercises. You only need cones, maybe a rope uh, to create some height between cone and cone. Uh, maybe a little white bar, you're gonna see the exercises now, but you don't need anything else. So you can use uh, water bottles or whatever you have, okay, to, to, to use as cones. So I'm gonna show you five exercises. Pay attention because I'm gonna be talking uh, with my boys in off why he's doing the exercises, explaining what he's doing and why they're good. So I hope you can use this routine for you, okay? Implement it before you're going to practice, before you're going to play a match. You can make it anywhere, okay? Parking lot, in the gym, or maybe already into the court. Remember, you only need cones, okay? And it's great. You can see Paulo that he's gonna be doing. He's an ATP player. He does this routine a lot before heading into trainings. Today we're gonna in the we are in the preseason, okay? And we're making them every day and i want to show you guys uh, these exercises so let's check them out uh, remember if you didn't subscribe to the channel please subscribe if you like this video you have a friend that you think is gonna it's gonna be helpful for him just recommend it okay share it with him i really appreciate it guys uh, i'm actually enjoying a lot all this content that i'm giving you guys i hope you you're liking it also so let's go to exercises and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you first exercise you can see it's a double skipping if you can find those cones with the bar over, you can find anything, okay? If you don't have the bar in the middle, you can just make a line of cones. Something that is gonna give you a little of height, so you can jump over. Coordination, okay? Arm leg coordination. He's gonna do it for a minute. Remember, slow and coordinated for the first exercise. Very important to warm up the body. The second one here, we add another variation of the skipping. Now with three steps over okay it's almost like a triple skipping okay trying to get the knees high now you're a little more warm you have one exercise on you you probably have 10 minutes of jogging before that so now you can start to add some more speed some more power in your legs again you go for about 45 seconds to one minute x uh, legs and arms coordinated all the time remember very important to do a good technique here for the third one here, we have some more complications. You can see he has an elastic band uh, a little over his knees. This exercise, you actually don't have to look for any speed. Here is all focus on coordination, balance when you fall. Okay, trying to don't fall, keeping your balance with your arms. You can do this for 30 to 40 seconds. You're actually gonna start to get a little more warm up, more tire. That elastic band over your knees is gonna create some pressure okay it's gonna try to close your legs while you have to keep them open and one leg always in the air look for technique and quality here and let's go to the next one all right for this one we're a little more uh, warm up we're more getting into the training so you can see he's actually moving faster doing more speed but always keeping the same in mind we're working all laterally okay for this one, you can see the first cone is the one, the, uh, the first cone in the left. He will also always align that cone to the right leg. You see, always coming back with the right leg aligning, and then all the cones he always passed the right and aligns with the left leg. Okay, from going to from left to right. Look here for more speed. Okay, bending a little your knees, more thinking in a movement that you're gonna do on the baseline of the court. You're gonna have them for at least a minute, burning the legs, okay? Remember, we're in a pre-season workout here, so the, the warm-up is already heavy, and you can stop. Last exercise of the warm-up before heading to the court and doing some uh, calf rotation with elastic band. He's actually doing the very famous and always effective uh, figure eight. Now, when I tell him go, he's gonna start to, to go to the front cone or the back cone just to add more traction in the legs and start to imagine he's running back from the baseline or forward to get a drop shot. Go! 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 And stop. You can keep this exercise for at least a minute, 
okay? Give him some chance to go at least two or three times to the front cones, two or three times to the back cone. So with this exercise, we conclude the five, and now we're heading into the court.